Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, stretch it out, son. Stretch it. Hey, y'all. Sorry for the truck vlog, but um, it's just the way it has to be done today. Um, it's not going to be a long video. I'm actually about to pull into my house, and I'm just going to sit in my driveway and talk to you guys for a minute. Go over all my numbers. Um, doing my best to stay positive. Overall, I mean, I, I'm, I'm positive, but today I'm positive that I'm frustrated. <laughs> um, your overall feeling about well, anything really um, can be different than like, momentarily. Momentarily. Of frustration is normal. Okay, this is my week 35 update, by the way. Um, I know y'all see the blanket on my. Oh, that's my neighbor's. That's what this one said. Um, anyway, my husband puts this sheet over the seat when he goes to work at night, but. My high weight. No. Y'all can see my frustration. It's showing today. Um, <clears throat> I'm 44 years old, 5 foot 4 inches. <laughs> I had surgery on June the 23rd with Dr. Samuel Rossi at CMAC in Charleston, West Virginia. My high weight is 259.6. Day of surgery, I weighed in at 247.6. My goal weight is 140 ish. That's probably going to change, y'all. Um, last week, I weighed in at 177.4. That was a loss. Today, I weighed in at the exact same weight that I did the week before that. So, I gained back the 2.4 pounds that I lost last week. I weighed in at 179.8 this week. Um... Y'all see, I finally did my nails. Went a few weeks there with nothing on them, which is odd for me. Didn't do my eyebrows today because I don't care. Um, not at the moment. Like, it's not on the top of my priority list. But my nails, I do enjoy those being done. Um, I hadn't done them because I had planned on working on um, some tile in our shower and was going to chit chat with you guys while I was doing that but I went into Lowe's to get the tile and I just seen it out you know the this it's just basic subway tile or so I thought it's what I already have in my shower started on it of course I didn't get enough the first time so had to go back and get more um so it's just sitting there in the middle in some boxes and I'm like oh look they've just got it out here for us already like they're waiting on us and just grabbed it put it in my cart went on about my merry little way just to get home and find that not all subway tile is created equal it ain't even the same tile that i've already got it ain't it ain't the same color the edges ain't the same nothing so i was like you know what i don't feel like going to lowe's tomorrow probably not the next day either um, we're not that far away, but probably takes us farther or longer to get to places than it does a lot of other people. We are like in the boondocks, y'all. Like it would take me about thirty minutes probably get to get to Lowe's. But anyway, the tile's not the same. It's not what I needed, so I thought, well, let me just go ahead and paint my nails. I did put some lashes on last night. But anyway, I'm 
that's neither here nor there, I guess. I guess I was just doing things to make me feel a little better. So maybe it does kind of like go hand in hand with this video because I'm frustrated. But um, that's still annoying me. Bought some cream for that I'm reviewing right now. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, it's supposed to be some really good stuff, but. I mean, I've not been using it long enough to say yes or no. But anyhow, um, that thought is still in the back of my mind. That is this the weight that my body just wants to be at? Like, period. No matter what I do. Um, I don't know, y'all. I mean, I, I really wish I did. Um... But the only thing I can do is keep doing what I know I'm supposed to be doing. Um, getting the proper nutrition. Fueling my body. Um, continuing to exercise. I know what they say that exercise does to your body and weight loss. And that it can cause, you know, temporary stalls and this and that. But that also passes. Um, so... I'm okay with a temporary stall if exercise is what's causing it. Because Y'all look at this shit. Y'all, I am a mess. I did wash my hair. Another rabbit trail here. But I tried this new hair gel. Um, It's not completely dry yet. Y'all see that flying? That stuff? That's the hair gel. So I guess I'll be rewashing my hair because I can't deal with that. But anyway, um, if the stall and the plateau is being caused temporarily due to increasing activity with the beach body exercises, then, then that's fine. Um, I'll take that because of the improvement that exercise does for me overall. Um, just my overall health and definitely, you know, the mental, you know, what, what is the word I'm looking for? Whew, y'all. Um, uh, just a better place mentally, like what it does to my state of mind, um, for my mood. And again, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to like walk around with my head in the clouds all the time, like, you, you know what I mean? Always in a good mood, happy-go-lucky. No, people who work out every day, like it, trainers, it, what, they, everybody's going to have their moments, okay? And I think I'm just having one today. Um, I'm not going to quit exercising because of this, because of the scale. I'm definitely not. Um, because I do, I like how I'm feeling. Since I've started exercising, I feel better. I have more energy. I'm sleeping better. I just I feel stronger overall. Um, I know that after surgery, I lost a lot of muscle. Um, I can tell. Uh, not in just, you know, by the way that I felt. But I can just tell by the way that I looked. And, um, I mean, not that I look so much different now. Speaking of, I started taking my measurements this morning. For my monthly update. And I just stopped. I was like you know what. I, I'm not doing this to myself. And the reason that I stopped is. Um, I mentioned a little bit in my last video. About hormonal stuff. And ant flow coming. And nothing's regular with that anymore. Um, and the whole menopause thing. That I discussed with my doctor. And so that is still happening. Um, and so I, and I, I can just tell that I'm bloated. So I was like, you know what, I ain't even, I got to measuring my stomach, not doing this today. I'm going to give that a few more days even um, to subside and go down. And, and another thing too <clears throat> that I thought about is I usually do those measurements first thing in the morning before I've had anything to eat or drink. And I had already had a cup of coffee and started on my protein. And so I was like, you know what, no, I'm not. So, that's not happening today either. Um, I know I'm all over the place 
today, but I'm just trying to be real with y'all because this video is all over the place because I feel like I'm all over the place right now. And I'm trying to just get my head back in the game and keep my, my thoughts straight and stay positive. And I'm not going to come on here and act like to you all that that's the case with me every day because, oh, I lost, you know, whatever amount of pounds I've lost, 60-something uh, since surgery, but like a little over 80 overall. And act like, you know, that's carrying me through because that's not the case. Um, it's normal to have a bad day. It's normal to get frustrated along this, this journey. And I think everybody does it at some point or another. Um, so I'm not going to get on here and act like, you know, it's all peaches and cream because it's not, um, it's definitely not an easy thing. It's if surgery is not taking the easy way out. And anybody that says that clearly is not, you know, has not taken the time to educate themselves on everything involved. Um, is it faster? Sure. But it's definitely not easier. Um, but again, I'm just keeping it real with y'all. And so if you're in a place that you're feeling frustrated and you're stalled, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. And so, you know, I'm, I'm right there with you. We're in this together and I'm not the only one. You're not the only one. It's common. It's normal. Just hang in there. Keep doing what you know you're supposed to be doing. It's okay to get frustrated. There's nothing wrong with you. Your body's not broken. Uh, just don't let it break you. Don't let it break your spirits. And I know, you know, I'm telling you guys this. At the same time, I'm telling myself this. So, I mean, I'm putting myself in this equation with you guys, okay? Um, if you're experiencing that. If you're pre-op... Um, just be prepared that there's going to be days, y'all, that is not so great, okay? And there's going to be days you're going to say, you know, is this it? Did I have surgery to lose just that amount of weight? And that's all. Everybody's different. Everybody's journey is going to be different. But there will be similarities at the same time. So the best thing that, you know, I can say about that is just love yourself through it give your you know show yourself some grace don't be so hard on yourself um it's not a race it's it took time to put the weight on you know you you didn't get overweight by eating one unhealthy meal so we're not gonna be fit and in shape and at our goal weight um by eating one healthy meal okay did i say that wrong you didn't get to where you are if you're looking at surgery or just had surgery by eating one unhealthy meal, if I didn't say that right. Um, just give it time. That's all we can do, y'all. Um, I just need to practice maybe some self-care. Uh Part of that was like me doing my own, you know, I, I do my own nails um, because I enjoy doing it. Um, occasionally, you know, like very rarely, I'll treat myself to, you know, somebody else doing my nails or something. But I, I enjoy doing them myself. So that and my eyelashes and just taking a, you know, long bath, soaking um, with a bath bomb, um, whatever like chills you out, helps you, that you consider self-care, do that, you know, um, exercise, read, go for a walk, listen to some music, watch a show on the TV, just whatever it is that helps you do that, and, um, try to focus on positive things, I mean, that's, that's the advice that I'm, given you because that's all I know to do and that's what I have to do and again I'm right there with you and I know I'm rambling at this point so I'm gonna not stay on here very long um I will be updating on my no spin February um oh and 
before you know you think oh well the nails and that the lashes and things like that was i spent money on no i already had this stuff y'all i already had the hair gel just hadn't used it um so i'm not even sure if i stuck to my budget yet to be honest with you because i have to finish that up and do the math but i did my best that's all i can do i mean i i don't think i bought anything that i didn't need. oh yeah i did yeah i did but that's okay i'll share that in that video um something else y'all that i'm like seriously thinking about and i know everybody has their opinions about it because well everybody's got an opinion about everything but Ain't everybody walking in your shoes at the same time, right? So. In my mind, I'm seriously. Got. This thought. That. This is where my body's going to sit at this weight. And there's not a lot that I can do about it. Not even surgery. Because even with surgery, you know, that um, it's, it's kind of generalized that you'll lose a certain percentage of the weight that you need to lose and the rest is on you. Now, that's not true for everybody. That is true for some people. But like I said, everybody is different. Everybody's bodies are different. So, I'm thinking, okay that percentage of my excess weight like am i falling into that category and that's it that's all the surgery is like, going to help me or assist me in doing i don't know at this point and um, i have been stalled for uh, a good month i think fluctuating within a few pounds um so I mean, I, I don't know how much time to give that, but my body's going to take the time that it wants regardless. I mean, obviously, but as far as like how my body is proportioned and like where and how the fat is distributed along my body, um, the majority of it sits in my midsection. Like a lot of women. Now, that's not all women. A lot of, you know, women struggle with their bellies, though. Um, some For some women, it's, you know, legs and hips. But <clears throat> then again, a lot of women like to carry weight there. I mean, it's just everything is personal preference. And, and it's each to their own. Um, But I ain't heard nobody say they like a big belly, okay? Big booty. Big belly. I ain't heard no song about that, have y'all? Uh, so, I'm thinking, you know, hey, let me just set up a consult with a plastic surgeon. Get this shit sucked out of there. Get it nipped and tucked. And be done. Because I feel like that really is the only place that I have to lose weight left. And I know that that is usually the last place for it to come off. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to, like, you know, go have surgery next week, obviously. I'm going to give it a little more time. But, also, it takes time to get in and see these surgeons, especially due to COVID, um, to set up the appointment. And, I mean, I've been tucking away some money for this here and there for a while because this, you know... It's, it's been my backup plan for some time. And, I mean, it's a pretty penny, you know. It ain't just, oh, let me just go to my change drawer and pull out, you know, 10K. I ain't got it like that, okay. Um, if you do, hey, I'm clapping for you, sis. But I don't, okay. Um, I got these things every month called bills, and they wear us out, okay. But that's, that's life, too. I don't know anybody that don't have those. But... It's something that I 
am considering doing um, real talk. I got, I mean, yeah, and that's not me giving up on the VSG. VSG done its thing. It's it might be still doing its thing. I don't know. Um, but I'm just saying I have a backup plan because I didn't come this far just to come this far. You know what I mean? Like. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to do the damn thing. And I'm going to do whatever I, ha I have to to feel better in my own skin. Um, well, I mean, I do feel better. Don't get me wrong. I do. To feel the best that I can possibly feel. And I know that I will feel so much better if, you know, this belly issue was improved. Fixed. Or at least better. Um, Y'all, I just want to be able to put on a, a cute outfit. And, you know, the sides of my, like, the hips. The skin not show through. Or my apron, you know, the, the apron belly not be an issue. Hell, I just want to put on a pair of jeans and be able to properly wear them. Because if I get them to fit me in the belly, they're too big in the butt and the thighs. And if I get them to fit me in the thighs and the butt, they're too tight in the belly. I mean, I'm not out here trying to win, you know, a bikini contest. Uh, that was over, God, how old is my oldest daughter? She's 27, 28. Yeah. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to reach this level of perfection that's unrealistic. Um, my goals are realistic. And it's not about vanity. But even if it was, you know, because I had somebody to say that to me. Even if it was, I'm over here like, did I ask you to pay for it, though? Did I? Nope. Um, so why does anybody even care? Why did that person even care? Why did that person say that to me? I don't know. And that's another thing along your way. Y'all, you got to just let things just sometimes. Um, don't let what others say derail you, okay? You do what you feel you need to do for you, okay? And to heck with everybody else and their opinions of your situation, okay? Your journey, what's going to help you feel better about you, okay? You're the one that's got to wake up every day in your own skin, not them. If they don't feel that they need a tummy tuck, great. Go spend that money on something else that makes you feel great. Or them. Let them. Tell them to do that. You know, if, if that's not what you want, then I'm sure there's something that that person probably does for themselves that you don't feel is a need for you. You know, sometimes it's best to just be quiet and just go on. But me, other times I'm like, mm -mm, I'm probably going to point that out. But then other times I'm like, you know what? I ain't even worried about it. So, I mean, it really, I guess it just depends on my mood that day. And I, I think a lot of people are like that. Um, something I've been, you know, trying to work on for a minute now is this mouth. Because like, it'll just, I have several family members and friends that's like, oh, you are so quick-witted. I wish I could think of something that fast and just be like that. Because I'll get home and 30 minutes later I'm like, oh, I wish I would have said this or I wish I would have said that. And I'm like, I wish I could have bit my tongue. So, I mean, <laughs> it's each, each to their own on that one, too. But I'm usually pretty quick with it. I cannot just, like, I'm like, damn, I probably shouldn't have said that. Because, you know, to me, I'm like, you know, that shuts you up, you know. Or, oh, touche, you know, let me point out to you, like, or, or you know what I mean. But at the end of the day, does it, does it really do any good? Because people are going to feel about how they feel regardless um but i'm just real quick to say look this ain't got shit to do with you i just thought you know i was just sharing my opinion or my you know thought i could you just talk to somebody about it or whatever you know but um at the end of the day it really ain't nobody's business y'all um the only other person that i feel <coughs> that i can allow to have any input Excuse me. <coughs> Hold on. 
it's my husband. And even then, at the end of the day, I'm a grown-ass woman, okay? But out of respect for him, I consult with him on most everything. Um, little purchases or whatever, I don't, like, whatever. But this is a big deal like you know it's just a big purchase like we're talking over ten thousand dollars like yeah i'm probably need to run that by him okay <laughs> uh, because you let him go dropping 10k on something without running it by mail you're all gonna be pissed okay <laughs> the next thing y'all would see it wouldn't be me making a youtube video but be my mug shocked okay because i would tear him up so along those lines yeah i'm going to consult with him um but I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not looking for him to validate me wanting a tummy tuck, okay? It's, if he don't think that I should get it because he's going to be like, oh, well, I think you look great. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, it's about how I feel about me, not how you feel about me is what I'm really trying to say, okay? But my husband does know that this is something that I want. I've wanted it for a very long time. Um, and I knew it was going to come up even after weight loss surgery because I, I just, like, I know my body. Um, I knew that no matter how much weight I would lose, that my belly was still going to be there. My belly was still going to be an issue. Because I've been this weight before. I've not always been overweight. I've weighed less than what I weigh right now. And, um, since having kids, my belly is just, it's like it's broke. And I don't know how else to put it. Um, I know, you know, I have the, the separation of the, the muscles and it's pretty severe. Um, there's a lot of skin there and, and still some fat. Like there's fat there. I ain't gonna act like it's all skin and droopy muscles no there's there's some fat there for sure um the most stubborn fat in the history of fat but nonetheless i mean and i no matter how much i exercise no matter how healthy i eat no matter how much weight i lose that's still going to be there and if anything it's probably going to look worse it's going to hang more um there'll be more skin um Things like that. So, I, I knew that I would want a tummy tuck eventually, more than likely. Um, I kind of, I guess, hoped that maybe it wouldn't bother me enough to go through another surgery. But I was wrong, I think, when I said that. Um... Now, I don't obsess over it how I did at one point, 10 years ago, maybe. Um, it's not to that degree, thank God. But it is definitely something that I want to take care of. Um, so, I am actually already looking at surgeons um i'm almost nine months this month i'll be nine months my surgeon had said yeah i know surgeons say different things um most want you to be at your goal weight or a steady weight for a year or two um then some surgeons are like you know what just i mean a year after surgery you're good I don't think that the the weight that I will, you know, could lose after the fat and the skin has gone from my stomach will be enough to mess up the tummy tuck, okay? And, it, it, and if I did think that, I would never put my body through that um, or drop that kind of money on something just to have it undone. Um and again, like this is going to be a few months down the road for sure. This ain't something that's happening like next week or anything. Um, and another reason why, you know, I feel like it's 
you know, of course, go over it with my husband is, um, he'll be needing to take time off work. And, uh, I'm going to need somebody to help me. I don't want to piss him off and then him be like, let me see you get your ass up yourself out of that recliner and go to the bathroom or something. Which he wouldn't do that. But I'm just saying, you know, what if? <laughs> but, yeah, I just, um. I'm I'm just doing my best to stay focused, y'all. But it is there. Uh, it, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have the surgery, um, and it's gonna happen soon. I feel uh, because I'm just tired of this belly always being an issue. I feel like it stops me from doing things to the fullest. Um, doing life to the fullest because I, you know, I'd be embarrassed about, oh, how I'm going to look doing that or, you know, or even yoga. Like, I love doing yoga, but it's not easy for me to do all of the poses and I know that I could even exercise better and have more range of motion even um, if my belly wasn't in the way. Um. Now, is it, you know, because I want to look better? Well, I ain't going to lie. Hell yeah. Who don't? But that's not the only reason, okay? I just, it's uncomfortable. I want to feel comfortable in my own skin. I want to feel good. I want to feel better. Um, I don't want to have to, you know, keep having this struggle, just getting dressed, finding a pair of jeans that fit me. Um, I've got, I think, every pair of leggings made. I probably got that pair, you know, um, in multiple colors. And I just want to wear jeans, you know. Um, I want to be able to wear a cute dress and it not have to be, you know, made a certain way before, you know, the apron don't F it up, it's, you know, just. And not to be gross or anything, but, I mean, it's a skin fold. I have to properly tend to that or there'll be rashes and the such um i sweat there really bad and i'm always having to you know like address that so yeah now i'm not saying that mine's bad enough to where it's a medical issue or anything but uh, if you think i'm not gonna try to get my insurance to hear me you're wrong okay if, uh, if i can get them to pay anything on this then I'm going to do that. I mean, that's why I pay my premiums, right? Uh, our insurance ain't free. We pay for that. So, um, collect on it. But, I'm going to go inside the house. May record some more in there, depending on if my daughter's done with her test. Um, she is doing the respiratory program at a local college. And so, she's... Um, got tests online today really proud of her for doing that she's doing really well and so i didn't want to distract her disturb her um while she's in there doing her thing so if she's done i may may not chat with y'all some more so we'll see how this is pieced together but uh if you stuck around to the end of this god bless you um, <laughs> thank you if you're already subscribed thank you if you're new here and just finding my channel I promise I'm not crazy this is just one of them random you know thoughts from the top of my head type of video um, I'm just crazy enough to share it with you guys <laughs> I guess but um, please subscribe and uh, follow me along on this crazy journey called life weight loss and uh, see what's coming next because uh yeah my wheels are turning on this y'all so go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you like this kind of thing i appreciate it it really helps my channel and click that little bell that you see there and uh, that way you'll be notified whenever i update again um and so yeah I will come back to you guys in a few days with um, 
another video. Uh, I will be working on getting my No Spin February updated and posted. And it was something else. Oh, I was going to chit chat with you all while I did my tile in my bathroom, but that's not going to happen till later. So, totally my fault. But, okay. I will talk soon. Bye, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for watching. Front again. I'm going to see how hot it's pretty because it sounds. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Had a lot of rain, guys. That's right in front of my house. It sounded like it was hot.